Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Sunday, April 21st, the fourth Sunday of Easter, our scripture is from the Gospel of John, the 10th chapter, verses 11 through 18. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am a good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. For there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have, to, I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Jesus said, I know my own, and my own know me. Verse 14. I don't know much about herding sheep, but I hear it's a dirty business. Bible paintings depict sheep as snow white, obedient, and tender. In reality, I'm told, they tend to wander and can be more stubborn than my teenager is about folding her laundry. Ancient Palestine was an agrarian society, so everyday people had experience with sheep. When Jesus spoke of, the, of being the Good Shepherd, they understood this wasn't a romanticized ideal of little lambs riding on his shoulders, but a promise that he would be in the throes of life right alongside us. Jesus said, I know my own and my own know me. How could he know us except by being with us, keeping us safe from predators, calling after us, even laying his life down for us? This is how we know him and, we, and know we can trust him. Isaiah acknowledges, all we like sheep have gone astray. Jesus, our good shepherd, pursues and protects us, despite our stubborn resistance to his voice. Our prayer. O oh, Good Shepherd, thank you for saving us from ourselves when we have gone astray. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.